I'm the Iowa Prairie Girl, and today I want to show you Obedient Plant. I am at Wilkinson Park in Rock Falls, Iowa, Saragota County. It is the second full week in August 2021, and we've got Obedient Plant blooming right here next to the pond at Wilkinson Park. Obedient Plant is a native perennial. It blooms in Iowa in July through September, and when it's blooming, it blooms for about a month and a half. As you can see, it likes um, areas next to a pond. You'll find it next to a stream, uh, moist soil, likes part shade to sun. It does need some sun, but you can see right now I'm in the shade. Uh, it is a wild plant. Uh, in the wild, it can, if it's in the right area, or even if, it's, um, if you plant it in your flower garden, in the right soil, it can become rather aggressive. Um, however, it is easily pulled up if you have it in a flower garden and it gets to be too much. Um, it will grow in drier soils, but preferably if you find it in the wild, you're going to find it along streams or ponds or, or areas that are wet. So it's got a really fun name. So obedient plant. Why, why is it called obedient plant? Well, the reason it's called obedient plant is because you, the flowers here, they grow on uh, this, this stem. It's a square stem. A square stem means it's in the mint family. And on this square stem, these my dog just came up to me with a six foot stick thinking i'm going to throw it in the pond for her okay so on this square stem there are four rows of of flowers and you can turn these flowers horizontally and uh they will stay they're supposed to stay where you put them let's try this one so you can just turn them Turn them here by the calyx, by the base here of the, and you turn them, and they will stay kind of like a game, almost like Rubik's cube. They will stay where you put them. So that's why it's called obedient plant. They stay where you where you where you set them at. Um, another name for this plant is false dragon head, and the reason it's called that is because it resembles um, what does it resemble? Snapdragon. Another name for this plant is false dragon head, and the reason it's called that is because it uh, resembles a snapdragon. So if you know what a snapdragon flower is, you can kind of squeeze, squeeze the flower uh, bulb or the the flower, and it will kind of open up like a dragon, dragon's mouth. So that's called um, a false dragon head because it looks like a snapdragon. If we take a closer look at the flower, um, as I mentioned, they grow on a square stem and there's four on each side of the stem, four rows of flowers. The flower is a lavender, light, purple, pinkish. Um, sometimes you can find them in a white color. Um, the flower is a tube, a tubular, and it has an upper and a bottom lip. The upper lip is kind of like a hood. The bottom lip has three different lobes and the middle lobe is larger than the outside two lobes. And the middle lobe also has almost like a polka dot or a, almost a stripes on it. Um, and those are like a landing pad for the, the bugs um, that come and visit the obedient plant. Uh, obedient plants are visited by butterflies, um, hummingbirds, and, and bees. There is no scent to the obedient plant. Um, and as you can see, it grows kind of, it grows in a tall spike. The main spike can get up to be 10 to 12 inches tall. And then it'll have, the plant itself will have some offshoots where they'll have sp of smaller spikes. Each flower will develop into a little nutlet. Um, well, each flower actually develops into four little nutlets. Um, as you, I think you can see them there. These are, the, these are gonna be the flower capsules. And each one of those little nutlets will have just one seed in it. Obedient plant spreads by its rhizomes, root system, and then also from the seeds um, will disperse onto the ground and it'll spread that way as well. The plant blooms from the bottom up. So you can tell from this plant here that it's been blooming for a little while. All of these flowers have already bloomed and we're getting to the top and once the top one um, blooms, this plant will be done for the season. Another neat thing about uh, the obedient plant is its calyx. The calyx is um, 
what the bud comes from and it has five points and it kind of stays around the tube of the flower as it's as it's blooming the leaves grow opposite of each other on the square stem they don't have a, a petal to the leaf um, they're almost kind of clasping uh, to the stem they are about five inches long and about an inch and a half wide they are they have a lot of little sharp teeth on the edge of it and they come to a fine point at the tip of the flower of the leaf another name for this cool plant is lion's heart and that name comes from uh, because this stem has this densely packed um, flowers on it before it blooms it looks or resembles that of a lion's tail and then also the ancients to use this um, this plant uh, to treat heart palpitations so that's where lion's heart comes from now this plant doesn't have a lot of folklore. Uh, only thing I can come up with, the uh, Native Americans used the, the leaves to make tea, but it doesn't have a lot of stories to go along with it. The one thing that I did find that I really um, agree with is from uh, Sylvan Runkel and Dean Rosa's book, let's see if you can see that there, Wildflowers and Other Plants of Iowa Wet Wetlands, they describe obedient plant as this. This species is just uncommon enough to be interesting, just frequent enough to ensure success, and sufficiently attractive to make the search worthwhile. And I totally agree with that. Um, I was here last week uh, just going for a walk and saw this obedient plant, and um, I yelled out to my son, hey, look, obedient plant. Uh, it, it does really catch your attention when you do find it. Okay, so I am the Iowa Prairie Girl coming to you from Saragota County with Obedient Plant. Um, this is about all I know about Obedient Plant. I hope that you can get out, uh, explore some streams or ponds, and maybe you can find um, this beautiful plant here before the end of the summer. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it with others, and I hope that you get a chance to get out into the wild, and I hope that when you do, you see the wonderful. Thanks for watching.